Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome back to Lord of the Craft. So as some of you may know, I play on the Mongoose Country server, and a few of us uh, have kind of teamed up to uh, pretty much create our own little nation. Uh, I'm sorry for the lag right now. Here, let me try to fix a few things. Okay, hopefully it's fixed now. No, nah, apparently not. Okay, so things are going to be a little bit stuttery. I'm sorry for that, but... This is pretty much what we've been working on. We went way out in the distance and pretty much uh, made our own little town here. Um, pretty much what we're doing is making a little starter town for a nation. And this big cobblestone monstrosity back here is going to be a mongoose head. And we're going to have a, an actual true city underneath it. But uh, right over here is the model they're using to make the mongoose head but the problem is that it's four times bigger and it's at a diagonal whereas this is just like that so yeah we we've put up towers that are unfinished the the ring around them is where the uh, the roof line starts spired towers i've done most of them myself but um a few other people did them otherwise uh we've We've got a really huge uh, storage shack here that is extremely organized. Uh, we're going for a community vibe here. Everything is share all. Pretty much the only things that uh, you get to keep to yourself are, are stuff like diamond tools that you brought with you. Uh, part of our problem was uh, this is just a huge terraced uh, place. We've got a park down here and all up above is uh, wheat farm. But part of our problem was it is really expensive to create a nation on this server. You either have to donate 200 real world dollars or accumulate a million minas, which is the in-game currency. Um, we've gone for uh, donating the real world, real world money because even out here in the wilds, you can't dig further than a, a specific um, um, depth without buying a mine. And that costs too much money as well, so... It, was, it just would have taken a long time to uh, do everything. But, um, yeah, here's one of the towers. It leads right into the wall. It's got a, uh, that would be for uh, arrows, but we don't have any right now. Uh, the big thing to show here is across the little bridge here. This would be the, uh, oops. This would be where the captain of the guard or whatever sits and does his business. I've hidden a little uh, crafting table in there. But the, the reason why on the map I'm not showing coordinates is because we don't want the general public here yet. And even when we do, uh, it's, gonna, it's really a long journey. We're going to leave clues for them along the way. Pretty much the only people we're releasing coordinates to straight off the bat are the uh, Mongoose Country members. So I, I passed this on the way in, but this is pretty much our, our bulletin board and has all our rules and everything. Uh, Mongoose Den message board. Congrats, you have reached the Mongoose Den. Please read the following rules and post your name on the other side. One, you must share all items except special diamond items. Two, you must provide some service to the town, i.e. farm items, ferry materials, build, etc. Three, help all other city members. Four, most importantly, never share the location of the Mongoose Den. And five, all builds must be cleared by a council member. And the council members are the four of us that started this. These are our uh, our uh, character names, Rizu, Sue, Longbeard, and Candle. Obviously, you know who I am. Sue is a boy named Sue. Uh, Rizu is obviously Rizu. And Longbeard is the Major Easy who's been uh, walking around working on stuff. And uh, he's not actually on the Mongoose Country. He's kind of a potato fan, but he joined us. Uh, this little shack here was where we were going to have a nether gate before we found out that not only is nether disabled right now, but once it eventually comes online, it would put us way too close to everybody else. Here's a little crappy little trading post that Omni made. Uh, I have to figure out whether or not Sue authorized this because it is really shitty and there is gravel here or something. I don't know, but we need more gravel. We're using gravel paths pretty much everywhere. I have a feeling a lot of these staircases are going to get fixed. 
But yeah, this is the mongoose uh, head that uh, GDR, uh, known as Delabra on here, has been working on uh, with a little bit of help from Rizu. He's building it out of these massive uh, quad blocks right now. And then he's going to go through and, and carve out all the extra detail. You can see our, our wall that is mostly from, uh, from Longbeard and uh, Sue. I, pretty much all I did for this tower was, I think maybe I laid out a uh, foundation for it. I don't remember. I know this one I did and built most of myself. Yeah, pretty much all the other towers I built myself. Uh, Longbeard actually built this tower and he did a really good job making it look exactly like the others. Um, up here is something that Longbeard's been working on. Ah, crap. I gotta be careful about that. Because we are really far away. I do not want to deal with the uh, death walk again, the walk back. Yeah, Granny Goodies, Bacon Shop. This is from Longbeard, so. It's kind of a little shop here. But yeah, this is what we've been working on. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much since we're becoming our own little nation, we're also uh, becoming, we're also creating a, uh, a new race. Right now, the plan is to have it be the mongooses. And uh, we haven't quite figured out how that's going to happen. But the, the whole fact of it is pretty much the only people who will be mongooses will be the people from Mongoose Country and uh, Longbeard. And everybody, but this will be a, a multiracial uh, nation that will allow everybody in. But um, yeah, pretty much that's, I believe, is it. I, I really want to do the the roofs of the uh, towers in blue wool. It ah uh, crap. Oh good. For a second I thought Minecraft had quit out on me. It just froze for a second. Uh, but lapis lazuli is going to be really hard to come by because we don't have a mine. And even once it is, even once we do have a mine, I mean it, it's also really expensive because it's so valuable. So. We we're thinking maybe red. Uh, a few of the guys were saying uh, wood planks, but I just don't think it would look right. Especially not with John Smith. It, it just would not look look good. See, he's working on a little section of uh, a wall there that I had put out. A uh, at least I think he's working on a section of a wall there that I already already marked out kind of a foundation for, but we hadn't really done anything to it. This right now is the only section of the, of the wall that I actually really like. I, I kind of hate the way the others are, but I also don't want to tear it down because that's going to be a lot of work to tear them down. Uh, these pillars with the stairs on the top of them are supposedly supposed to uh, stop... Um, they're supposed to stop spiders from coming in. I don't know how well that, that works like that, though, but... Uh, pretty much, yeah, that's it for the uh, mongoose den right now. So, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.